follow up on the uh, concerns raised by the events in Ferguson, Missouri over the last uh, three or four months. Um, and I'm going to ask the board, because I think this is a policy matter, to, to address a number of issues. The first has to do with, um, in the hopefully an event that will never happen here, but um, it has the potential for happening anywhere, that in, a, in a case a police officer um, uh, shoots, um, whether fatally or not, an individual a citizen of the town or some other individual in the town, um, I think we need to have procedures in place that uh, address some of the concerns that have been raised. First, that the an officer involved should be immediately um, removed from duty and and also isolated in the same way that someone, a civilian who had, who had shot or killed somebody, um, is done. And we need to have investigators, not, officers should not be interviewed by the local district attorney who has to deal with them all the time. They should be, uh, they should be interviewed by someone from the attorney general's office designated for that purpose. Any prosecution should involve an outside um, prosecutor. Not, a, no, not the local district attorney who has to deal with every police force in the county uh, or in the counties, and because he serves two counties, um, uh, on a daily basis. So those two things, and the board needs to be an advocate for this. If, um, and the town is in a good position to do it because we have not yet had such an incident, and we can say that this is simply good policy. This, and we can do it in such a way that um, we can say that we have a lot of objective evidence that, that not doing it creates problems. Um, the final uh, two concerns address the, the training and evaluation of, of, of both potential officer candidates and of, of, of officers who are on the force. Um, I think that the board needs to um, with the manager and the police chief, evaluate the training procedures that are currently in place and determine whether they could potentially lead to the kind of situation we in, that happened in Ferguson. Um, I think that there are some police procedures that have been revealed to be problematic and that it would be important for the board to get involved and, and insist that whoever we send for training, um, receive training in a manner that really protects the citizens of the town and people who come and visit here and so forth. The second part of the evaluation of process regarding evaluation, um, I, I refer the board and I will make copies available of the article to you, an article in Nature, the October 20, um, 2014, volume uh, 15 of Nature, on uh, page 670. Um, it is a review, um, and it's a 10, 9, 10 page article, The Neuroscience of Prejudice and Stereotyping. Um, um, I remember reading a book 50 years ago by Gordon Allpart called The Nature of Prejudice. But now you see, with brain science, we can we can go beyond the words of an individual to examine what they actually, um, how they are actually responding, to, which may be different from what they say. And there, there are 163 footnotes to this article. I recommend it to the board members because I think um, it provides a roadmap to a process by which we can evaluate both um, officers who are presently on duty and officers, um, individuals who want to become police officers by, by really determining in a scientific way how they see other people. Who do they see as outsiders? Who do they see as people who are a threat? Who do they fear? And I think that, in a way, 
Um, whereas before, we, we've tried to deal with these matters through political means. We now have the tools to deal with these issues through science. And I urge the board to take a look at the article, to read some of the, f the footnoted articles, and to start thinking about how we can take a leadership position in making sure that people who, we, uh, who put on the uniform of the town of Amherst and carry guns, um, we can make sure that they, they are people who see all of the residents of the town as human beings. Thank you very much.